Stephen, my physicist friends tell me ultimate reality is the laws of physics, quantum mechanics, general relativity. My theological friends tell me that the ultimate reality is God. You're a philosopher. What's ultimate reality? Help me. That's a tough, I mean, just, just what is reality is held enough. Now you want ultimate reality. <laughs> I mean, even, even with reality, I'm kind of flummoxed. Um, it's like, um, what we're doing here is we're, we're asking a question. I, I, I'm not entirely sure even what it means. I mean, I know what it means to say, describe something as being real rather than imaginary. I know, you know, the, the, the ways in which we apply it, the terms existence and real and so on in an everyday life. But when we kind of take a step back and say, but what is reality per se, the very essence of the phenomenon and the itself, ultimate reality. the ultimate reality, uh, Gee, geez, I, I suspect there's something wrong with that question. I mean, as, as there so very often is when people ask, but what is it really? You know, oh, it's really, it's just all mind. No, no, it's all just physical matter and atoms dancing in the void. Um, they're, they're, those, those, those answers are always uh, deeply misleading. Um, I, usually, I'm, I, I reject the question. I want to know exactly, what do you mean, what is ultimate reality? That would be my response. Yeah, I, Philosopher's I would, response. I would push you. I would push you. I'd say, <laughs> there has to be something. You, you can't evade it. You're evading it. There's something. Maybe you can't find it. You can't know it. But there is something. It's also, My yeah. question's a good question. No, I don't, I'm not so sure. Because, look, maybe it's what Wittgenstein would call, you know, reality. It's a family resemblance concept. If you come up, family resemblance concepts. Um, you can have different members of a family. Some have the big nose, some have the wide eyes, some have the. But there's no one thing that they all have in common. They, they just kind of hang together. There's a kind of group similarity, but no one thing that they all have in common. The same is true of many concepts. Wittgenstein thought it was true of the concept of game. Maybe it's true of the concept reality or real. Okay, in which case, asking for the you know, ultimate reality, the thing they've all got in common, there just ain't no such thing. It's a myth. You're on a wild goose chase if you're asking for the ultimate, you know, what is ultimate reality. Uh, I think, I suspect you need some linguistic therapy. <laughs>